Hey everybody, this is your host, Ms. Dietrich, helping you on Lesson 1.1, which is on Divide Multi-Digit Numbers, and we're going to focus um, on how to estimate. Most of you are in pretty good shape at the long divisions, the estimation part that gives you some difficulty. So we're going to take a look at number 7 and number 8, and I also added another screencast for number 9 if you need help with that, and that one does show the long division. All right, so step 1 when it says estimate is to round your divisor, which is the number after the division symbol or the number on, on the outside of the division box if it's arranged that way. You're going to round that to the lead digit. So if we round this to the lead digit, you ask yourself, 5 or above, give it a shove. Or if the indicator number is a 5 or higher, you're going to add one to this value. Now, in this case, it's not, so that this 2 becomes a keeper. So that's going to stay at 20. Now, let's just make sure you understand how to round the lead digit in this example. If we round to the lead digit, we're looking at this neighbor immediately to the right. It's not a 5 or higher, so that means that this is a keeper. Anything under the arrow or after it gets changed to 0, so in this case, we're going to change it to a 0. All right, let's go back to number 7. Now let's think of our multiples of 2. I'm going to put that in a box. 2 is bigger than 1, so that means we're going to look at 10. Is 10 a multiple of 2? And the answer to that question, it is. So that means we don't need to change this. It's already what we call compatible with the 2. So let's rewrite it down below, and let's keep it in the box. And let's change anything outside of the box into zeros for estimation purposes. All right, so if we do 10 divided by 2, that's equal to 5. And then recall when we're doing mental math division, for every 0 in your divisor, you get to cross one out in your dividends like a pair. And then if you happen to have any zeros left over like we do here, transfer to your quotient. All right, so our estimate for number 7 is 50. Now when you're ready to find the actual answer, and you're doing the long division to figure that out, and you, have to, you don't want to find all your multiples of 22, but a good starting point would be to find what 22 times 5 is to get you started. All right, so that one's not finished. You still have to do the long division on number 7 and put that answer next. Let's talk about how to finish number 8 again with the estimate part. I rewrote it uh, down here. We already rounded the divisor to the lead digit. Let's put that in a box. 4 is bigger than 1, so let's look at 14. Now think of your multiples of 4. I'm just going to write them over here. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8 times 3, times 4, times 5, etc. I could keep going. But let's look. Look at 14 and compare it to the multiples here. Now, which multiple is closest to 14? And wouldn't it be this one? So that means we're going to change this. We're not rounding it to the lead digit. We're not even necessarily rounding it to the nearest uh, ten thousandths place or the thousandths place. We're rounding it to make it compatible. So we're going to choose the 16 to round that to. Let me just draw a line here to separate that out so we don't get confused with that. So changing that to 16, let's keep it in the box, and let's change anything outside of the box to zeros. All right, again, so this got changed to a zero, this got changed to a zero, and this got changed to a zero. Now we're going to go ahead and proceed with 16 divided by 4, which would be 4. And remember, for every zero in your divisor, you get to cross one out in your dividend. It doesn't matter which one you cross out. You might want to cross that one out. All right, and if you happen to have any left over like we do here, let's put those on our answer. All right, so a good estimate for number 8 would be around 400. Now, again, when you do the long division on this, start out. You don't want to have to find all your multiples of 44. It'll take you a long time, but start out by finding what 44 times 4 is, and if that's too big, then find 44 times 3, and if it's too small, find 44 times 5 so that you can get going into that first uh, set of numbers. All right, hope you found this helpful.